Hello, I'm Jorge Garcia. And Alejandro Corpeño. Uh, we are founders of Voto Social. Uh, a few years ago, we created a crowdsource solution for uh, auditing elections in our country, original country of Honduras. Um, and uh, one of the things that we discover after that is that even though we managed to create an audit of the elections, uh, you couldn't trust the actual counting, uh, what you saw on the tally sheets. So we decided that, and we discovered that uh, maybe e-voting would be the solution, but then you need a way to be able to trust the e-voting platform. So what we're going to show you now is a proof of concept of an e-voting platform using uh, the blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain, and using color coins. And uh, you're going to see uh, the full process simulated on a voting booth in an iPad. So how it would work is like this. Uh, if you're a voter, you go to the election, uh, to the voting center, show your ID, pick up a paper ballot, but that paper ballot is actually a blockchain address. And uh, you will go to the booth, scan the address, and the booth will also have a blockchain address and in order to be able to vote, there is a color, color coin in a multi-signature address that would be the combination of the paper ballot and the booth. So it will uh, combine, get access to the color coin, you will pick your candidate and the vote will be uh, transferred. So the color coin will be transferred from the voting address to the candidate address. Counting the votes, that will be easy because it would just be counting the number of color coins that are available on the candidate's address. Uh, we know that the demo that we are showing is not completely secure. It's just the beginning. It's a proof of concept. Uh, we have considered many other scenarios that are not considered into this demo, but this demo will help demonstrate the main functionality of, uh, of the process. And then we also are eager to for feedback about other things that we can improve. Also, even though it's a demo and proof of concept, I want to mention that it's actually plugged to the blockchain. So everything you see is real. Like what the vote that goes to the iPad goes to the blockchain, and then you see on a web uh, dashboard the same data showing there. Yeah. So it's actually right enough to the blockchain. It's not a, a concept. It's something that's actually happening. Yeah, it's a, it's a functional prototype that demonstrates the whole process and that you could verify uh, easily. Okay? okay, so thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna start by opening the app. So let's open Voto Social. And the first thing that we need to do is to create an election. So we're gonna go to, for administrator, add a new election, and this is gonna be the best duck. And we're gonna set it to five voters. We're gonna save it. Okay, so uh, right now you can see that uh, we need some funds and there are no available. We're gonna see that. But first we're gonna add the candidates. So our candidates are Daffy the Duck. Okay. Donald Duck. And Howard, of course. Okay. Uh, so now we have all our candidates and we are ready to fund our elections. Okay, so the next step is to fund the election. So we need to send some Bitcoins there. Uh, you can use your favorite wallet. We have uh, this uh, test account. So I'm gonna scan the QR code. And as you see, the QR code already has the amount of Bitcoin that we need to send uh, to be able to fund the address. So we're going to send it and go. Okay, so the payment was a success and we can refresh and we can see now the available funds over there. So the next step will be to generate the election. What it's going to do is it's going to create an address for each of the candidates. It's going to create 
a, paper, a ballot for each voter and it's gonna create uh, an address, a secret address for the booth. Okay, so we're gonna press generate and what it's gonna do, it's gonna do all that. Now we can actually print the ballots and uh, ballots uh, right now is just a paper but this should be a secure uh, paper wallet and um, we could print it over here but uh, we can also send through email this will be helpful for us um, so I'm gonna send it to Jorge at votosocial.org okay uh, we're gonna send the ballots over there with some links so we can verify the election press send and it's done okay now we are on the email so here uh, we have some links that will help us verify the election but right now we just care about the, the ballot so this is a PDF uh, it's important to, to, to say that uh, these addresses do not contain the votes, the color coins of the votes that were generated when we generated the election. Uh, each of them is, uh, must be combined with a booth. So it's a multi-signature address. Both of them must be present in order to, to vote. So this is not helpful. And this should be uh, managed with a paper ballot, with a secure wallet, sorry, secure paper wallet. I'm gonna print it right now. Okay, so now we have our ballots. We're just gonna cut them. The interesting thing is that we could separately create the booth and the ballot with different providers. So I'm gonna just cut it, and this would be a ballot. In real life, this should display also the candidates and other information, uh, and this should be secured. Okay, so we're done. We're done. We have the paper ballots, and now the what we need to do is to go to the actual voting. So for that, we're gonna pick the voter option, and we're gonna go for the best duck duck in the television. Okay, so what we need to do is we scan we scan the paper ballot, and we are display the options. So you can select. Uh, the option that you want. I'm gonna go for Howard the Duck and I'm gonna confirm the vote. Okay, uh, so I can get a receipt from my vote and this is a blockchain transaction where it's done. Uh, so you can send it to your email. I'm, I'm gonna cancel, but you could send it uh, for your verification. We can add other votes. So for example here, Alejandro is gonna vote for another okay so I come to the booth and where is it the camera is yeah okay there okay there and now I'm gonna vote for who do you vote for I voted for Howard also oh, I'll vote for Donald okay confirm great okay so Alejandro can get his uh, confirmation okay and go and for example if I use a ballot that was already used I can go over there scan and it will tell me that the ballot is invalid because now the color coin is no longer in that voting address in the combination of the booth and the paper wallet and uh, as we mentioned the booth has a, an address that is secret this should be handled with a probably a hardware uh, wallet, maybe a smart card or something like that. Okay, so now we can go to the email, the original email, and we can validate the election uh, using color coins, or we have created a dashboard for that. Okay, so now we can see some of the 
results. <laughs> okay. Howard. Howard. <laughs> Looks like the Donald didn't go through. <laughs> Let me see. There it is. Ah, there it is, right? Something Okay. Else. Yeah. So it, it took some time, but now it loaded. And now we can see both, both Donald the dog and Howard the dog getting a boat. Okay. So let's let's do another one just to verify. So it's gonna be the next one. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna scan it. And let's say who, who do we send it to? Let's say I don't know, Howard again. Let's help him win. Okay. So I can get the receipt. And I'm gonna cancel here. And we can refresh and it should appear in a moment. Let's see. Last time it took a while, so. Shift refresh. Oh, shift refresh. Oh, no. No, there it is. There it is. So now it took some moment, but but it there it is. Howard has two votes. Donald Duck has one vote. We can also verify this on the Color Coins Explorer. So there it is. This is the asset. This is a best duck. That's the name. This is the ID. The issuer is Photo Social. It's a locked asset. And there are some uh, different addresses that have uh, this. Does it's not a it doesn't show all the addresses that hold uh, some uh, color coin. And these are all the transfer transactions. So there we could verify all the votes. Okay, so that's that's it. Uh, this uh, demonstrate how uh, Voto Social could work uh, as a voting platform over the blockchain. Thank you.